Good afternoon. The appeals hearing in the case of Mamchal Perisic has been scheduled to be held on Tuesday, the 30th of October, in courtroom 1 at 9 a.m. Perisic is a former chief of the general staff of the Yugoslav army who was sentenced to 27 years imprisonment on 6th of September last year for the crimes against humanity and war crimes committed in Bosnia and Herzegovina and Croatia. He was found guilty by a majority in the trial chamber of aiding and abetting murders, inhumane acts, persecution on political, racial or religious grounds, and attacks on civilians in Sarajevo and Srebrenica. He was also found guilty by a majority of judges of failing to punish his subordinates for their crimes of murder, attacks on civilians, and injuring and wounding civilians during the rocket attacks on Zagreb on 2nd and 3rd of May 1995. He was unanimously acquitted of charges of aiding and abetting extermination as a crime against humanity in Srebrenica and of command responsibility in relation to crimes in Sarajevo and Srebrenica. His judgment was the first handed down by the tribunal in a case against an official of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia for crimes committed in Bosnia and Herzegovina. In the case of Javca Stanšić and Franko Simatović, the chamber yesterday extended Simatović's provisional release with an exact return date to be set as soon as the scheduling order for the closing argument in this case is finalized. The chamber currently anticipates that the closing arguments will be held no later than November or December this year. And in the case of this Monday's status conference in the appeals of Milan and Sredoje Lukic, Judge Gune announced that the appeal chamber judgment could be rendered before the winter recess at a date yet to be confirmed. In the case of Radko Mladic, the trial chamber is currently hearing the testimony of a protected witness, RM145, who is testifying via video link about the events in and around Novi Grad, including his detention in Railovac and the execution that took place in Sokoline. Once his testimony concludes, Osman Selak, who former officer of the Yugoslav People's Army, will resume his testimony, which started yesterday. And Mladic, who has waived his right to stand or to attend the examination of the protected witness, indicated that he would return to the courtroom to follow the rest of Selak's testimony. That's it for me, Office of the Prosecutor. Uh, in the Karadzic case, following our filing of a notice of appeal, on 24 September, uh, the Office of the Prosecutor filed its appeals brief against the Chamber's judgment of acquittal in the Karadzic case at the 98 bis stage in relation to count one of the indictment, which charged the accused with genocide in relation to the events in certain municipalities in 92. The f brief has been circulated, the redacted version has been circulated yesterday, but I just wanted to um, notify you once more. That's it from, uh, from my side. Any questions? No, thank you very much.